Muslims believe in the existence of angels. Angels are created from light. They will not be held accountable as they do not have free choice. Each angel is assigned to do a specific task. Some of them record our deeds, and some of them protect human beings. The archangel Gabriel is responsible for carrying the messages of God to the messengers. Muslims believe in all the books of Allah, like the scriptures of Abraham, the Psalms of David, the Torah that was given to Moses, the Gospel or the Injil that was given to Jesus Christ, and the Quran which was given to Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon them all. The Quran stressed on this belief and mentioned the Torah as a source of guidance and light. Surely we did send down the Torah to Moses. Therein was guidance and light by which the prophets, who submitted themselves to Allah's will, judged the Jews. The gospel was mentioned also in the Quran as a source of guidance and light. We sent Jesus, son of Mary, confirming the Torah that had come before him, and we gave him the gospel in which was guidance and light and confirmation of the Torah. Muslims believe that the archangel Gabriel carried the books of God 100% correct to the messengers of God. وَقَالَ مُوسَى يَا قَوْمِ إِن كُنْتُمْ آمَنْتُمْ بِاللَّهِ فَعَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلُوا فَعَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلُوا إِن كُنْتُمْ مُسْلِمِينَ Muslims believe in the original scriptures, the purely divine books, that have been revealed to the messengers of Allah in its original text. But when man starts translating them, then a human contribution is added to them which is not divine. So the translations cannot be considered divine. Which means that if a person told you, let me give you an English Quran, correct him, tell him there is nothing as so-called English Quran. Say an English translation for the Quran. The Quran is only the Arabic text. And of course, this applies for all other scriptures. The original scripture is the one in its original text without translation. So translations cannot be considered divine. The Quran is the last revelation of God and the principal source for every Muslim's faith and practice. It deals with all subjects that concern human beings, including wisdom, doctrine, worship, and law. There are two basic themes for the Qur'an. The first theme is the relationship between Allah, the creator of this world, and his creation. And the second theme is the relationship between people. The Qur'an provides guidelines for a just society, proper human conduct, and equitable economic principles. In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the compassionate, the merciful, King of the Day of Judgment. You alone we worship, and to you alone we turn for help. Guide us on the straight path, the path of those whom you have favored, not of those who have incurred your anger, nor of those who have gone astray. Amen. For so many years, I used to ask myself when I saw people fighting each other, Oh Allah, why did you create us from different backgrounds? Men and women, whites and blacks, and people are fighting each other. Wasn't it a better idea that you could have created us all from the same background, coming from the same sex, speaking one language, same color, instead of people fighting each other? And then, I found the answer to my question in the Quran because in the Quran you can find an answer to any question that you have in your mind about the creation. I found it in a verse that has become 
a very dear verse to my heart. O mankind, we created you from a male and female and made you into nations and tribes that you may know each other. This verse was the answer to my question because diversity is a blessing. It's a blessing that we are different. Imagine that the people in this world could have been all from the same background, speaking the same language, eating the same food, looking all the same. This life could have been so boring no chance to get to know each other or discover each other. And of course, some businesses could have gone out of business like tourism because travel where? See what? It's a boring world. But it's a blessing that we are different. Diversity is a blessing that people are abusing by attacking the homes and lands of each other.